Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and you know what we haven't had in a really long time? A Unity-themed Humble Bundle. We really need something, <laughs> I'm kidding, but yes, we have another one, but this one is a bit different because this one is actually uh, from Game Dev TV. They're a courseware maker, and I'm a big fan of their products. So this one is a good pickup. If you are looking for um, learning materials for the Unity game engine, uh, it's hard to go worse than the Learn Unity game development software bundle. So this one is a collection of mostly courses. As you know, with Unity, uh, with uh, Humble Bundle, these are always organized into tiers. Uh, the UI has been updated, so actually breaking down what you get in individual tiers is trickier than it used to be. So I'm just going to do this video as if it was one large tier. So 25 bucks, you get everything. But just know, if you wanted to... Um, um, you know, waste your money. There is a small tier. And if you want to spend just a buck, you can get these three assets here. But I'm going to assume you get for a whole $25 bundle and we'll take a look at what you get here. Uh, by the way, you decide how your money is allocated when you work with Humble between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose. And thank you so much to, you do to help support Game From Scratch. Uh, we'll take a look at the courses available here. Now, this may actually sound familiar for to you because Game Dev TV were actually featured in the past. Um, back in in January of 2021, uh, there was a course bundle. Uh, we're going to see some of the assets here already. Uh, do um, make sure that you don't already have the courses you want from a previous Humble Bundle. But back then, I went through them. I did a review of Game Dev TV in general. And as you can see from the thumbnail, highly recommended. And that hasn't changed. I still really like their materials. And it's one of the best sources out there for learning game development uh, with the Unity game engine uh, you'll see uh, if you go through the comments pretty much people really love them too so these are really good high quality courses highly recommend that at this point in time so back to the course is itself in the humble bundle there's also a few things spread in here that isn't necessarily courses um, so we've got a music bundle here with 103 tracks we have a sound effect bundles with an amazing 10,054 soundtrack um, sorry sound effects in there and then finally we have the RPG 2d art asset pack but almost everything else is from uh, the uh, game dev TV courses we'll go look at game dev TV in a few minutes so the courses you are getting here and one thing to keep in mind is the courses are constantly refreshed and updated. So pretty much everything you're seeing here is up to date. So we're seeing here, Uni Multiplayer Course, Intermediate C-Sharp Coding and Networking. Well, that one can't be as up to date as they want to be because Unity keeps changing their networking stack. Uh, the Unity Mobile C-Sharp Developer Course, the Complete C-Sharp Unity Game Developer 2D Course or 3D Course. So if you want 2D or 3D, this is pretty much the heart of your training. Now do keep in mind, at least this one was in that previous bundle for sure. So make sure that if there's a particular course that you're buying this for that you don't already have it if you're a digital hoarder like myself. And then we got the Skill Builder Season 2. Now the Skill Builder things are actually quite interesting because they use real world exercises. Basically, you start with a project and fix it or work with it. And there's a number of different kind of games. I'll look at this one uh, when we check out their content in a second, but you're getting season two and you're getting season one in the bundle. On top of that, you get the programming patterns, introduction courses, the data oriented technology stack or dots introduction course. This is kind of the future technological underpinnings of unity. Things like uh, the burst compiler and the job system and so on are all fun fall into the category of dots. Um, and then you've got a course on using Git, which is getting uh, pun not intended, increasingly more important in our world. And then finally, you get the Unity UI toolkit for editor scripting introductory course. So a nice selection of courses on the Unity game engine. And now let us go take a look at their site. So this is Game Dev TV. I filtered my courses down to just Unity. Um, so some of these were from the previous bundle. They're not in this one. And then you're going to notice the, what we are getting in this bundle. You're getting this one, this one, notice 2021. So it is current and up to date. This one right here. Uh, this one right here, and then the skill builders, as well as the Git one right here. And you're going to notice the 3D course, there's a previous version, and then there is an updated version. And it is the updated version that you are getting. So this is what you are getting right here. So if you want to learn, learn Unity in 3D, they've got an updated course here. And 2D, they have a course here. So let's go take a look at the 2D course as an example. The nice thing with the way they've got these set up is it's basically... Uh, persistent, so it remembers where you're at. It come back in, and you'll see things, um, you know, where you left them off. Uh, you got a number of different courses. They're broken down into relatively bite-sized chunks. 
um, you know, six minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and so on. But the courses are pretty elaborate, as you can see. And this walks you through pretty much uh, everything you need to know. The nice thing is if you just got to got to figure out how to work with pathfinding, you can jump to just the pathfinding section if you wish. Um, and then here is a sample course. Everything is, uh, you know, clear, well illustrated. They've got a very consistent quality uh, to their works. You have some control. Uh, you can change the speed. So if you like them to talk a little bit more like me, you could say go up to the 1.25 speed, like so. Uh, and if you want to slow it down a bit, maybe uh, you have a little struggle over the language, no problem. You can do that as well. Slow it down, like I think many people probably do when talking to me. Um, you'll notice down here there are conversations, so you can ask questions about an individual video down there. Um, overview of the video and the source, you get um, links to either relevant documentation or updated versions of the project to this point. So you can download the project and literally follow along and have your code matched there. So you can follow this along, but if you break yours, you can just basically get the, the changed version and be in sync. Uh, so definitely a nice approach to things. And again, very consistent, high quality training materials from gamedev.tv. So now we're going to go back to the home and I'm going to showcase those two uh, skill builder courses there. Are they individually available? Okay, so here, skill builder season one. And as I mentioned, these courses are built around the idea of quests uh, where you're doing specific uh, already created things and working through challenges on how to work things out. And it's it's common game, teleporting, cloning colors, double room, whack-a-mole, uh, grapple gun handling uh, with featuring Kenny's art. Uh, we got pinball uh, and so on. So any one of these, basically you jump into it. Um, hmm, how do I jump from here? Oh, I may not actually have this hooked up right. Uh, but they are more uh, applied hands-on type things. So again, if you're dealing with uh, drifting a car or spinboarding, so these are more, here is the final project or a near final project, and here is how you uh, solve a certain problem in the Uni game. So these are much more applied kind of um, real world examples to contrast against some of these courses, which are more basically, you know, beginning to end teaching somebody uh, how to use the engine from scripting to uh, using the editor to using pro builder tools and so on. Uh, again, you will also find throughout, there are a number of downloads available. All of the various different things you need to work with the projects are available as downloads. The, the assets and so on that you used are all available as downloads as well. So pretty much everything you need is here in the courseware. And as I mentioned earlier on, one of the, the real big things here is my experiences with Game Dev TV. what I've seen is quite nice. By the way, if you go check the, them out, they've got a ton of courses on other subjects. So they also cover uh, Unreal Engine, Blender, and so on. And their courses are just really, really high quality on the whole. And that is what you're getting here in the Learn Unity Game Development Bundle. So these are the courses in it. Plus, again, this is an asset pack. This is an asset pack. And this is an asset pack. Other than that, you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten courses there. And again, keep in mind, these ones are like seven or eight projects a piece. So you're getting quite a few courses to walk you through the entire learning curve for the Unity game engine. Uh, done it, again, a very high level uh, in quality manner. And whenever I ask for feedback on Game Dev TV, the results are normally quite good. And I'll ask the exact same question again. What do you think of Game Dev TV's courses? Have you used them in the past? Or if you check these out, let me know your opinion of them. Comments down below. And I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.